Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 16 August 2024. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly Senior Deputy Editor Irma Fenter finds out what the automotive industry wants from government to keep the wheels turning. South Africa's seventh administration has taken office amidst a flagging domestic economy, desperately seeking traction. We asked a variety of role players in the South African automotive sector what their wish list is for the new government of national unity. The engineering news features focus on hydrogen, fuel cells and the green economy, where Satrep's projects are aiding the progression to a green economy. The SA Institute of Steel Construction, where quality and training could safeguard the future of the steel sector. And materials handling and logistics, where a company confronts logistics digitalization challenges. The Mining Weekly features focus on Australian mining, where an explosives manufacturer eyes a key market. And new mining technologies, where autonomous trucks are spotlighted at a UK-based demonstration. This week's business leader is Gwen Mahuma Madida, the CEO of Mahuma Investment Holdings, chairperson of Colossal Concrete Products, and executive director of BBD Steel Suppliers and Remcor Manufacturing. And as this week's cartoon shows, the world has become a true pressure cooker, both geopolitically and in the domain of domestic politics. We hope you enjoyed this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly. Be sure to subscribe to the magazine that offers you in-depth news about developments in the real economy by emailing subscriptions at engineeringnews.co.za. Happy reading and see you next time.